Welcome. In this lesson, we are going to look at confidence interval for proportion. How to estimate confidence interval for proportion. So let's look at this question. This is a survey conducted by KHP, that is King Habib Philos. Yeah. KHP of 1,550 students on KNUSA campus found that 875 of the students by Friday, and that is by uh, at Queens, at Queens Market. Okay, find a 95% confidence interval of the true proportion of KNUSD students who buy fried yam at Queens Market. You realize that people buy, so you want to know the proportion of the entire KNUSD student, all KNUSD students, the proportion of them who buy their fried yam at Queens Market, even though they sell at other places as well. But we want to know those who buy at Queen's Market. So to know that, you decided to take a sample of 1,550. And out of these 1,550, you realize that 875 of them actually buy from there, meaning the rest do not buy from there. So you want to use this sample to estimate the proportion of the entire population that buy from them. So to do that, this is the formula you are going to use. P hat minus z multiplying square root of you are going to bring a bigger square root square root of p at times q at all over n less than p this place will be mu it will be pop you want to estimate population proportion so it will be p okay less than sample proportion which is p hat plus z multiplying square root of p at q at over n so let's quickly let's see how to do that now what do you mean by this p hat to get this p hat you'll find it somewhere p hat is equal to x divided by n where your x means the number of students who say yes we buy at queen's market they've been buying from queens so eight seven five and n means the total number of sample you've taken. Okay, the number of selection you've done. So that's 1550. So when you calculate 875 divided by 1550, it gives you 0 0.56 in two decimal places. Okay, 0 0.56 as a sample proportion so to get a q the q hat the q hat to be one minus the p hat okay just like probability like probability of failure so one minus 0 0.56 one minus 0 0.56 it gives you 0 0.44 as you can see so that's a q at 0 0.44 and our n is what according to the question our n is 1550 which is known isn't it so now we come and do so to do that you need to actually find your z as well what will be our z to find z do you remember i said you find area to the left which is c plus one divided by two and this is confidence of 0 0.95 so 0 0.95 plus 1 divided by 2 it gives you 0 0.95 plus 1 divided by 2 it gives you 0 0.9750 the 0 0.9750 you are going to look for it here, isn't it? So you have 0 0.9750 over here. When you trace it here, you have 1.96. As you can see, 1.96. Up 6. 1.96. Okay, so that's your Z score. So your Z is equal to 1.96. That's your Z. So let's substitute that here. What was our P at? Our P at was 0 0.56. Minus... 1.96 times square root of our p hat also was 0 0.56 times q hat 
was 0 0.44 0 0.44 divided by 1550 less than p less than 0 0.56 plus you repeat same thing 1.96 times square root of 0 0.56 times 0 0.44 all divided by 1550 so quickly let's find that 1.96 times square root of division 0 0.56 times 0 0.44 all divided by 1550 so you have 0 0.56 minus when you calculated just this place I told you it's called margin of error, just like how you did in large sample. This part, the z times this, is called the margin of error. Okay, so here you got 0 0.02. Let's leave it in three decimal places. See, so 025. So 0 0.025. Less than p, that's the population proportion. Then less than. 0 0.56 plus 0 0.025 that's in three decimal places so quickly 0 0.56 minus 0 0.025 it gives you 0 0.535 less than p less than 0. 56 plus 0.025 it also gives you 0 0.585 you can also leave your answer in two decimal place so therefore the proportion of the entire KNUSC students who buy their fried yam at Queen's Market is between 0.53 and 0.585 now if you want to know if you are right or not add the two bounds the upper bound and the lower bound together and divide it by two if you get the sample proportion back 0 0.535 plus 0 0.585 all divided by two you got you get 0. 5, 6, which corresponds to the sample proportion back, isn't it? So it's very important to know this. Okay, so this is the end. You can also leave the answer in two decimal places 0 0.54 less than p less than 0 0.5. That's 5.9. Okay, so therefore, the proportion of that's at 95% confidence, the proportion of the entire KNUST students. Who buy their fried yam at Queen's Hall is between 54% and 59%. If you if you should convert this to percentages, okay, or in decimal 0 0.54 and 0 0.59. Okay, so let's look at example two. A survey of 920 students in Brunei found that 46.8% always call boat or Uber whenever they are going for a lecture you've realized that let's say you take a sample of 920 brunei students students in brunei and you realize that 46.8 percent of this always call boats and uber or uber yeah whenever they are going for a lecture okay you are combining boats and uber as one thing like either of them so they say you find a 90 percent confidence of the true proportion of all students in brunei who always take boat or uber when going for a lecture so let's see how to do this you are using same formula p hat minus z multiplying square root of p hat q hat divided by n less than p less than p hat plus z multiplying square root of p hat q hat over n okay so let's do similar thing here here to find a p hat there's no need calculating any. This is given to you in percentage already. They've given you the, the, the proportion already, straightforward. So proportion is 46.8%, which is divided by 100. 
46.8 percent so 46.8 divided by 100 is in decimal is 0 0.468 okay so you find a q out the q out to be 1 minus what the p out which was 0 0.468 so 1 minus 0 0.468 gives you 0 0.532, isn't it? So this is the, the Q, the Q at. So let's see. If this is the Q at, we also need a Z, isn't it? To find a Z, remember I said you are going to find the area to the left of a positive Z, which was C plus 1 divided by 2. And C plus 1 divided by 2, I see here the confidence is 90%, which is 0.90. 90% in decimal is 0 0.90. Plus 1 divided by 2. When you enter that on your calculator, you have 0 0.9 plus 1 divided by 2 or divided by 0 0.95 0 0.95 leave it in four decimal places so 9500 you are going to look for 0 0.9500 and find its corresponding z so 9500 what is 9500 here you have 95 here okay 95 you have 9505 here and you have 9495 here okay to know you can't find 0 0.9500 exactly, isn't it? But you know it's going to be between these two values. Now, there are two ways of getting it. It's either you take the z-score of this person and this person, add it together and divide it by 2. The z-score of this person is 1.64 and the z-score of this person is 1.65. When you add them together and you divide it by 2, you get 1.645. Or... You look at the two of them, which of them is more closer? They are equally closer. So since they are equally closer to 0 0.9500, you take this. You take the, the bigger one. If they are not equally closer, you take the one which is more closer to the value you are looking for. But they are equally closer, so take the bigger one. What does it correspond to? 1.65. Five, as you can see or you take since it's between these two you take the z-score of this person the z-score of this person is 1.64 and the z-score of this person is 1.65 there are two z-scores you add the two z-scores together and divide it by 2 1.64 plus 1.65 or divided by 2 you get 1.645. You get either of them. 1.65. 1.645 in two decimal places is 1.65. So you definitely get either of them or one of them. So as this score here is 1.65. Okay. You should know that at 90% confidence, your Z score is always 1.65. That's in Z, not in T. Okay, be careful with that. So our p hat is 0 0.468 isn't it minus z is 1.65 times square root of 0 0.468 times 0 0.532 which was our q at divided by n n is 920 isn't it less than p less than then you repeat same thing here as well so let me come down because of the space so 0 0.468 plus 1.65 multiplying square root of 0 0.468 times 0 0.532 all divided by 920 so quickly let's find the margin of error You have 0 0.468 minus to find the margin of error you say one point that's z z times square root of you can bring the times before bringing yeah so you bring the division sign 
0 0.468 times 0 0.532 all divided by 920 it gives you 0 0.027 in three decimal places 0 0.027 isn't it less than p less than 0 0.468 plus 0 0.027 which is our margin of error isn't it so let's see 0 0.468 minus 0 0.027 what do you get you get 0 0.441 isn't it less than p less than when you add this let's now change it to addition <laughs> you get 0 0.495 so when you con since the question is given to you in percentage form you can convert them to percentage 0 0.441 in percentage means 0 0.441 times 100 percent it gives you 44.1 percent less than p less than when you convert this to, to percentage 0 0.495 times 100 percent it also gives you 49.5 percent so for proportion you can convert your answer to percentage if you wish so therefore the proportion of the entire like all students in Brunei who take either boat or Uber whenever they are going for lectures, they ignore the shuttle and all of this. Their proportion is between 44.1% and 49.5%. Okay. In order to know if you are right or not, you can add the two proportions to see if you get the sample proportion so let's add it in 0 0.441 plus 0 0.495 equals divided by 2 it gives you 0 0.468 back isn't it so you can know also you can try you can use it for the percentage one as well 44.1 percent plus 49.5 percent all divided by two you get 46.8 percent the sample proportion given to you so that's how to know if you are right or not so that is the end of this lesson as well thank you